Hey there, friends. I'm coming to you from the greenhouse today. Um, wanted to show you a couple of my friends. I'm getting lettuce for lunch. It's not really lettuce. It's kale. And I'm going to sneak a few things in on the guys because it's good for them. And if they don't know, then they eat it up fine. And it's it really is good for them. I had this for breakfast this morning, these particular weeds. Uh, yesterday, you know, talk about lifestyle, life choices. Yesterday we had a beach day and we stopped for ice cream on the way home and I had some and I woke up this morning and my feet hurt and it could have been walking in the sand, but it was a deeper ache and my head hurt and my neck was stiff and I realized, oh yeah, that ice cream's coming back to bite me. So... I went out and I got these friends for breakfast. Um, the first one I'm going to try and show you is Lamb's Quarter. Right here, this is Lamb's Quarter. See it growing there? There's another one that's a little bit bigger. Lamb's Quarter is very anti inflammatory. That's why I wanted it. Very anti-inflammatory, uh, so it's going to help my body recover better. All these weeds have a lot of minerals and a lot of the things that help your body adjust, adapt, and rejuvenate when you have pushed your limits. Been out in the sun a lot, gone swimming in the heat of the day, had ice cream at in the evening, all these things. So that's why I had the lamb's quarter. The other one I had, where did this little friend go? This one is pig's weed or amaranth. Amaranth, it has a lot of um, the amino acids. I want to say eight. So all eight that we need to eat. We need 14 amino acids and amaranth has eight the eight that we need to eat. It's also high in protein. Both of these are high in vitamin C, so they're immune boosters when your body's stressed by summer and all the fun things that we do. Uh, when your immune system is working well, you also have less inflammation. These both help tone your digestive system, especially your stomach. So when you've done silly things like eating ice cream in the evening, they help tone everything and help your body come back to rights. So you can have strong digestion, and strong digestion is the seed of all your health. So those are my couple weeds. I've got some others out here. I'll show you another time. I've got clover and sorrel, um, dandelion. I threw some dandelion in uh, to support my liver in the heat out on the beach, even though we drank water and went swimming in cold Lake Michigan. Supporting your liver when you're really super hot is good. So dandelion. Like I said, all of these have chlorophyll, so they help clean your blood, carry oxygen, help your blood perform well, so that you are well. That's it for today. Uh, eating, that was the other thing I wanted to tell you. Eating your weeds, eating your food. I'm not a huge fan. We take medicinals when we need them, but generally eat your medicine. The more that you do that, the more that you just take it in passively all the time and you're constantly building your system. I have to remember to take medicine. I'm not one of those people that has to remember to eat. And even if you are, you will eat once or twice a day. So if you're eating weeds, you're eating nutrient-dense pasture-raised meats, you're eating vegetables that have been grown in good soils, you're going to get what your body needs. Especially when you bring the belief of that to the table and gratefulness for everything that's gone into that. So, eat your food, eat your food, eat your medicine, <laughs> eat your good food. Have a great and abundant week.